Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, another weekend, another day of recording. Uh, we're going to continue again with our Land of the Viking series. Uh, we've managed to get a little bit further forward from last time we were on. Uh, and as you can see, we've got 137 residents at the moment. Uh, let's just see what we've got going on at the moment over here. Uh, we've still got full storage. And we're over overloaded there. Um, but we still haven't got things in place, such as like the tavern and so on. And in the last episode, we started to get this area built up, i.e. We've got our troops area built. I think we've got another hunter coming in here, and then we've got this getting built as well, which is something we need to get uh, com uh, probably put in priority. So I'm going to put that in now. And then with that in mind... By the way, guys, if you are new to the channel, or welcome in, by the way. Obviously, if you like this type of uh, game, whether it be survival, uh, simulation, or city builders, and please do consider hitting subscribe so we can try and hopefully hit the 1,000 mark by the end of this year. Uh, it would be nice to see if we finally get there. Uh, we'll start to do a little bit more on this channel now, and I'll also be doing some live streams. So obviously, if you turn on notifications, you will be notified when I go live and when I upload on a regular basis, which at the moment is around about four times a week. Right, okay. Amount of weapons, it's because we've got no weapons or money. So we need to get weapons built before we can do any of that. There we go. I learned something new. So let's stick it on full speed. Uh, I'm just gonna before we do that, I'm gonna check up here to see what we've got on the actual uh, tree of life or the like, trainer warrior, which we've already unlocked. Warrior's power is increased by five percent. Toss a coin to your trader. It's time to start trading. Probably a good one to look at, to be quite honest. And uh, having good houses would be good as well. So what does this require? That requires five, so let's go ahead with that. And we'll leave that as it is for now. And we've got a couple of people that are homeless. In fact, we've got... Uh, there's five people there. Let's have a look further down over here. Yep, we've got quite a few people. That might be down to the fact that on the last episode, we did get a load of new people join the colony. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm actually going to put some houses over on this area, purely because, obviously, we've got a mine there. So it'd be daft not to. Let's go ahead and stick these on. Uh, I'm actually going to leave an area across here, because I think we may end up having a path from the back, or maybe put a little market stall or something up this area as well, because obviously we're going to be having workers up here. So it would be daft not to. I'm going to leave that where it is for the time being. I think that's enough houses for now. Let's just speed up at the full speed and hopefully we'll get a lot more um, a lot more buildings. Um, I do need to check to see if we've actually got the um, blacksmith yet. That's a brewery. We're not particularly bothered about that. Blacksmith, I want on priority because we need to start looking at getting weapons put in place. Uh, so we're getting the Hunter up here done. We're getting obviously the, the stone pit as well as the, uh, the, bl uh, the blacksmith. Uh, the one thing I did notice as well, though, guys, we're struggling when it comes to wood. So if this, there's one of these that actually makes this. There, there we go. It's got a limit of um, 169 planks. But as you can see, he's struggling. Obviously, our big issue at the moment is this. Uh, they're not getting enough materials in. Um, when it comes to uh, getting the relevant crops and leather and that to make weapons and armor, now we need uh, we need actual um, well, as you can see, uh, intelligence, one point six. So let's see if we've got anyone else who's actually higher than that. And it might be down to their intelligence as to why we can't get the people or the stuff in. I can't imagine that being the case. As you can imagine, it's not their fault if they can't get it in. Uh, but we do have another one there, so let's go ahead and do that. And. Uh, I'll put this back on full pace, and I'm just going to check through to see if there's any way we can uh, try and get some more productivity in when it comes to the animals. So we've got two. We've got another uh, goat ranch, and we've got another... Uh, oh, I don't think we've put two goat ranches in. Please tell me there's another cow ranch in somewhere as well. Cattle ranch. Goat ranch. Cattle ranch. Right, okay. And this one is a goat ranch. Brilliant. Okay, so we haven't got any more co goats in here but um, cows. What will actually happen is, as we find them on the map, the hunters will bring them over. Or offer us them. And let's go ahead and put that path in there. Oh, 
And we'll need to put a well up here as well. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Right, how are we doing on over here at the moment? Uh, we're still needing a lot more trees, so let's go ahead and get a load more cut down because we're struggling when it comes to getting the wood. I'm literally just going to put paint the area. Right, just on the off chance that this guy gets inundated with logs, which he looks as if he has, we'll go ahead and we'll start putting some... Uh, excuse the noise. We'll start putting some wood storage down here. That'll lose some of the uh, the wood, but it'll also help us gain more storage. Right, my biggest concern is when it comes to the wheat and so on, Does it? can it be put in these big warehouses? Because if not, we're going to have to make a hell of a lot more stuff when it comes to uh, these these um, coops, these little uh, storage units. So at the moment, what I may have to, may have to do is look at rebuilding these and relocating them. You would think by now, we would have a better storage when it comes to the granary and the wheat stuff. Not the case as it happens. So that one's barley. So we see we get a lot more barley than we do wheat, I've noticed. Which is probably a good thing. Bear in mind that the barley is also used to make the, the beers. Ideally, I want that down so I can put a road in there. We can put a load down this area. Now, if we take this down, are we going to get the gear back? Because it is full. It's either that or we look at getting two windmills. In fact, that might be a good idea, you know. We'll put two windmills in, one concentrating on wheat, one concentrating on barley. Which means we could put another one completely different location. Um, and up there would be a nice one, wouldn't it? Just in there. Go ahead, get these up and running. I'm going to put a, wee, a windmill in here. Looking down over this area. Providing it hits me, because bear in mind it's a pretty big building, so it might not. I'm going to pause that for the time being. Until we know what's going on. We currently need a lot more stone, uh, which is that polished stone. And it's actually getting built. Oh, brilliant. We've actually got our a blacksmith up and running. Now, bear in mind, it's getting a bit dark now, so we're going to have to look at looking at putting other lighting in. Blacksmith is ready to go. Cool. Let's go ahead. So we need intelligence on this one. Right, we might struggle with this one. Especially when it comes to distance. It's a shame you can't sort it by distance. Or can you? Oh, you can. There you go. So what else have you ever learned? So 1.3. And he's right on the doorstep. So let's just go put them in there. And 1.2. Put them on. Brilliant. Winter has come, John Snow. Look and intelligence. These are the top two. Ah, here we go again. We've got some more newcomers coming into the village. Obviously, it's the same script as always. Uh, newcomers coming from a village. Uh, they were torn away and attacked by looters and several families, including children, were able to escape since they could not bring any of their belongings with them. They had to leave everything behind. And at the end of a long journey... They've reached our village and need a place to stay and food. Can they join our village? Of course they can, because we're not going to turn anyone away. Um, not to mention the fact that it's always handy to have um, more workers and more people. I'm not thinking workers there. That's only more like the government there for a minute. Um, we've got that one there. We'll put him on as well. So we've got two people on the boat, on the fishing. And I think we're going to get another another fishing one down here as well, actually. What they're saying they need it is open 
that's closed. Um, they need iron. Uh, and this is a stone mine, I believe. Right, so we need to find an iron mine. Um, so that our actual blacksmith can do his job. Let's have a quick scour around the area. See if anything jumps out at us. In fact, if we were to click on mine, it might highlight where we can put it. It's going over here, and then we're sending me to go over there. Of course. I knew this, because we've done what we've fought over here. Right, and what's this one going to be giving us? We don't know yet until we actually get it up and running. But at least it's in place. We've already got a path leading up to that area. We've got nothing in the market stall. I'm quite surprised. We need to get another fishing in. Another fish, a fishing person on there, fisherman. Uh, so we need to look on the here again. Let's have a quick look. No pun intended there. As soon as I click it. There we are. It was a 2.1, and as soon as I click it, the bugger off. Right, I'm going to leave that running through. Hopefully we get some houses built. And in the meantime, what I am going to do is just pause. You know, we haven't got it on anyway, so I'll pause that windmill for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and put another fishing dock in, just because I think we're going to need it when it comes to food. Bear in mind, we haven't even got looked into the actual trading side of things yet. So that will come in eventually. Let's see, here we are. Trade dock. Have we got a trade dock in place yet? I don't think we have, you know. Trade dock. No, we haven't. So we could put that up here. Or do we want to put it in the middle? that down there again I'm gonna pause it for now and we'll put another fishing dock over this side just because we are gonna need a lot more food moving forward now because the amount of residents we've got we've got 148 we're currently in year two day 25 the villagers are unhappy and the people in the on the verge of a, uh, a revolt if it goes on for any longer the villagers will leave one by one promise that things are gonna get better well, it'll only get better to stop fighting. Uh, these houses are taking a little bit of time to build. I'm not too sure why. Let's have a quick look what we've got in regards to jobs. We've got 18 labourers and no bloody builders. That'll be why then. Twenty builders. Not a problem. Get working. We've got 64 labourers now. That's how many people we've got. I haven't even been looking at this stuff. Uh, stone mason, we'll put another one in there. We'll try and top everything out where we can. How many farmers can we put on? Seriously? 43 farmers. That's not a bad thing, I suppose. So we've maxed everything out except for warehouse and builders. I don't know how many builders we can actually have. A lot, it turns out. Well, even the labourers and the workers out, the builders out, try and give us a little bit more chance. It looks as though we've got some more coming as well. Newcomers have been seen coming. We know the option, so it's just a matter of yes, they can join. And as you can see, the houses are starting to go up now because we've actually put the builders in place. Um, I don't know why these have got question marks above the red. Uh, no firewood. Oh, that's not a good idea. We should have plenty of firewood. Where is the firewood? That's timber. 
firewood. We should start seeing these getting filled. There's no reason why we shouldn't have firewood. Except for the fact if I haven't told to cut the trees down. And it looks as though all those houses are going in, which is good. Uh, we've got a couple more over here put in. I'm keeping an eye on the actual tree of life because we have got the option here next to get better houses. Which I think overall will help people. Oh, look at that. We've actually got it. I hope that means we can literally upgrade the ones we've got. Does it give us the option to upgrade? No, it doesn't. I'm surprised. So it's going to be a matter of all the new houses get converted. I honestly thought there'd be an upgrade option. No. Okay then. So we're going to have to concentrate on just getting the houses in at the moment. I don't think we've actually got anyone homeless as it happens now, which is good. So with that in mind then, we've actually got the brewery up. Oh, good. Okay. Before we do that, let me just cancel these off. I want to get these buildings cancelled because I don't want to build them if we don't need to. And we need speed on this. And uh, let's face it, if we're going to be using breweries, they are going to need it. And then hopefully we'll unlock the tavern. So now that we've got that done, let's have a look at these new houses that we've got available. So we've got the good house, um, three stone and three. It's that polished stone, or the more structured stone and wood. Ooh. This is the better one. It requires less store, but more wood, but the wood's easy to get hold of at the moment. Spring is coming. Uh, as the snow melts, Mother Earth threw all her cover and began to breathe once again. The birds were dancing in the air, nesting above the newly bloomed flowers on the trees. Undoubtedly, the spring has come to our lands once more. Never seen that message before, so that's a good one. And uh, blessing. You have been blessed the light of Freya, Sean upon this village like a golden sun and blessed your lands it looks like we're going to be getting some better uh when it comes to stocks oh here we go again <laughs> some of the locals are offended by the new arrivals and complain you uh to you they say that the fish escaped escaped because the newcomers washed all their belongings in the lake fishermen complain about that not being able to catch f fish for this reason newcomers say there's nothing else they can do Fishermen, they are constantly wash washing clothes in the area. We can't fish. Not only are we losing money because of them, we won't even have enough fish to eat if it goes like this. Strangers, we don't have a lot of stuff. That's the way. Uh, but basically, yeah, start using uh, use water from the well to clean your clothes. Forbid washing clothes in the sea. This might lead to new wells. Uh, see, what I don't want to do is say you have to use the water from the well because if they start dicking the clothes, dipping the clothes in the wells then it could cause more contamination we're just gonna f um, I don't know what to do do you know what we'll do it right I'm gonna pause this a minute guys because I'm gonna start looking at where we're gonna be placing some of these new houses so that we don't lose stuff as we're going along now this is a bit of a weird shape so it might be a matter of that we end up having to change it slightly um, although these houses fit in there perfectly fine, so there's no reason to change that, so to speak. But we have got areas that haven't got any houses on at all, so... They're a lot bigger, that's for sure.
And that might be due to that path. If it is, I can take the path out. That's not a problem. And it, I believe it is. However, I could be wrong. Hang on. Be interested to see what these houses look like when they're built. I'm also thinking about moving the marketplace to here. health. That's not good. That's not good at all. Wow, look at those houses. They're a lot better, aren't they? Look at them. That is nice. Yeah, things are going to start getting a little bit more configured a bit now. Now that we've started to get a bit more of more more people coming in, we've got, my only concern is we've got to make sure we've got enough stone coming in over here. Oh, they haven't got more than one worker. With the warehouse full. I'm just wondering if we've actually got the uh, mine up there built. No, but it's getting built, which is good. Now, hopefully, I haven't just caused more of an issue there by breaking that down.
Oh, we have an earthquake. We could lose some of our new houses at this point. Wow. That's a first. And as you can see, or oh, here, things are getting damaged by the sounds of it. We'll have to check on that in a moment. The Tree of Life uh, is shaking. The gods must be angry with us. Some buildings collapse, people died, and become crippled. Oh my, wow. Okay, sacrifice eight animals to the gods. No. Donate 212 silver. No. Do nothing. Okay, so we need to do one of them. Um, What have we got silver-wise? We have got enough silver. We'll give them the silver, because otherwise the, the, our work has slowed down as well. Let's just pause that a minute there, guys. Very quickly, you need to get some fishermen on. Seems it looks like we've just lost some. Right, now we need to go and have a look at the damage. There we go. There's one house down there. There's another one down. And again, another one. I'm guessing the better houses will actually last longer because it'll be structured better. Uh, we only lost two from what I can see. Although, oh no, we've got another one there as well. Right. At least we know now. Uh, I'm actually, believe it or not, guys, I'm actually going to take this house down. That if you do the fact that I put it where it is because of the path, but that path's going to be coming out. So we'll go around all the all the damaged houses and we'll destroy them because there's no point rebuilding when we can put new ones in. Now, I won't be using just these houses, guys. I will be using the other houses that are available to us as well. Because bear in mind now, we haven't got as much money when it comes to spending. And as you can see, we've got a lot more people that are homeless. So purely down to the fact that the way I'm building these is going to be three. I'm going to bring this road down here. We'll hopefully get a couple more houses down there. They may not be the same ones as these ones, but we will get new houses in. Because these ones look a bit smaller. So let's just go ahead and get these built up before we call it a day on this particular one. And I've just realised as well, guys, our hunter hut also got demolished at the top there. So let me, let me just go and check on the other animals and so on, because it's the I instantly looked at the houses there and not the other buildings. And uh, while we're doing that, I better cheat, keep an eye on, see how many builders we've actually got. Since we did lose some people due to the job, um, things going on. Uh, Mark it here. We'll put that back to two. Bear in mind, we've got thirty-five farmers, so we can always take the farmers off. That's not a problem.
So as you can see, guys, we're starting to see a little bit more now in the game. Not only are we getting natural disasters and a lot more visitors, as you can see, um, we're now getting to be able to put different things in in regards to the new homes. Uh, we're getting a lot. We're going through a lot more food, and on, on top of that, we're getting to see a bit more information in regards to seasons. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll leave it on this episode for today, guys. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed it so far. I know it's been a bit of a hickledy pickledy one because we've got a lot of things to go through. But uh, that's what happens when you're going through a game like this. You, you do have to reconfigure things from time to time. Hope you will uh, come back and view the next video. And like I say, guys, if you are new to the channel, by all means, consider hitting subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified when we go live. And of course, when we upload again in the future. But on that note, guys, take care. And we'll see you all in the next video. Ciao for now.